Good day everyone! How are you? So welcome na naman to another lecture video for ITC 100. In this video, we're going to talk about computer networks. Communication refers to data being sent from one device to another over a distance such as over long distance phone lines or via privately owned cables or by satellite. So a computer network is actually a collection of computers and other hardware devices that were connected together to share hardware, software, and data as well as to facilitate electronic communications. So computer networks include home networks, business networks, and the internet. So computer networks are converging with telephone and other communications networks to allow uh, users to connect to one another. So some of the oldest networking applications are the conventional telephone service and telephone and radio broadcasting. It is also uh, considered as one of the first networks and are still used today to provide telephone service to landline phones. However, many of today's networking applications take via the or take place via the internet. So the internet is the largest computer network in the world. There are, however, uh, a variety of other important business and personal applications that utilize networks. Okay, for making phone calls while on the go, mobile phones uses wireless network for communications. Other examples of mobile phones are cellular phones or cell phones and satellite phones. So for cellular phones, you must be within the range of cell tower to function. And for satellite phones, it allows you to communicate via satellite technology. So on the other hand, uh, we have dual mode phones that can utilize more than one network, such as to place calls via both a cellular and Wi-Fi network. So this is what a cellular phone looks like and this is for satellite phones. So also there are a wide variety of global positioning system or GPS that uses satellites and a receiver to determine the exact geographic location of the receiver and monitoring systems applications used by individuals and businesses since it uses networking technology to uh, determine the current location or status of an object and this includes um, RFID based system which is used to monitor the status of objects we have GPS based monitoring systems used to monitor the physical location of objects and electronic medical monitors that is used for home health care and for sensors that are also used in monitoring systems. Many homes today also have a multimedia network. So multimedia network is the distribution of digital multimedia content so typically through or via a home network. Communicate also and work with others remotely. Video conferencing that uses computers, video cameras, microphones, and networking technologies to conduct face-to-face -face meetings over a network can be done just like um, video conferencing. Um, usually, mo na ginagamit na to karon video conferencing. We also have telepresence video conferencing, which is ang yung setup is mura gi mimic jud or gi kung unsa ang real time meeting environment pero siya ginan ang approach then we have collaborative computing or work group computing that enables the individuals to work together on documents and projects and the use of telecommuting applications in which pag mo tag telecommuting that is the individuals work from a remote location usually sa balay and communicate with their places of business and clients using networking technologies. So in Anna. So in that case it allows for employee flexibility. Then napote mga ginatawag na telemedicine. So you can do um telesurgery 
that is a robot assisted surgery where doctor's physical location is different from the patients and robots and other telemedicine applications that can be used to provide remote medical care by use of networking technology to provide medical information and services and do remote monitoring and consultations as well as diagnosis. Aside from that, networks can also either be wired or wireless. So, pag wired means to say that devices are physically connected. So, pwede uh, through cables. So, usually can be found in schools, businesses, and government facilities. Okay, aside from wired, napunta yung mga wireless networks in which devices are connected through wireless signals. So, this um, meaning walay physical cables. So, wired networks are usually uh, found in businesses and some homes while wireless are becoming very common in both businesses and homes and are frequently found in public locations to provide a wireless connection to the internet. So, usually uh, for wireless, the data is or typically jud pag wireless, data is sent via radio waves. So, muna siyang ginatawag na to na through signals. Okay, networks can also be classified in terms of their topology. Okay, pag mingatag topology means to say that how the device or how the devices in the network are arranged. So, natay um, classic class say nga topologies for networks. We have star network, bus network, and mesh network. For a star network, means to say that the devices are connected to a central device server. So, it got its name, Kim Roshag Star. For BOSS, it uses a central cable to which all network devices connect. And for MESH, means to say that multiple connections among devices on the network so that uh, messages can take any other possible path. So, this is an example of these network topologies. So, this is a star network, okay, central na central device in which kaning atong mga uh, computers are connected to that central device. This is the bus, meaning to say there is a single central cable that connects each device in a linear fashion. And this is the mesh, okay, each computer or device is connected to multiple or sometimes at the other devices on the network. Okay, then, uh, they can also be classified according to their architecture. So, we have two types of uh, network architectures. We have client server networks or P2P networks or peer-to-peer. -peer. So, for client server networks, it consists of a client device and a server device. So, the server device provides network services to its client computers. So, you see the client is the one who requests and utilizes the network resources. Okay, so this is how a uh, client server network works. So we have the, this is the client, not the, these are all clients. They are all connected to the network server. So the network server provides uh, client devices with network services like uh, file, print, email, and internet access to the shared network printer. Okay, so para makakonek sila client kay network server, so na sila isang common device nga dito sila connected, which is ang router. So, yun nga na. Okay, then we have peer-to-peer. -peer. So, peer-to-peer -peer networks uh, it means that the user computers and the shared peripherals in the network communicate directly with one another instead of through a server. So, with internet peer-to-peer -peer computing, files are exchanged directly with other peers by the internet. So, na na uh, internet P2P computing. Networks can also be classified by size. So, natay. Uh, several network size and coverage areas. We have PAN or personal area net networks, LAN or local area networks, MAN or metropolitan area networks, and WAN 
the wide area network. So for PAM, it connects uh, the devices immediately around an individual. Okay. For local area networks, it connects geographic, uh, geographically close devices such as within uh, a single building. Kung metropolitan naman, it provides internet access to cities. And for wide area networks, it spans relatively wide geographical areas. So, networks are also classified as intranets and extranets. For intranets, those are private networks that implement the infrastructure and standards of the internet and the world wide web. Extranets naman, on the other hand, are private networks that is accessible to authorized outsiders in virtual private networks or VPNs that are using or, or ginagamit siya rather to transfer private information over a public communication systems. So, in network, data is transmitted over a network has specific characteristics and it can travel over a network in various ways. Data that travels over a network can use uh, analog signals where the data is sent as a continuous way Okay, Morgingani. Or digital signals where data is coded as zeros and ones. Kung nasa sa baba, that is zero. Kung nasa sa taas, that is one. So, data bandwidth or data transmissions can also be characterized by their bandwidth. So, pag may nuntag bandwidth, it refers to the amount of data that can be transferred in a given period of time. And that it can be measured in terms of bits per second so or kilobytes per seconds megabytes per second or um, gigabytes per second aside from that it also uses uh, either serial <laughs> transmission which means that data is sent one bit at a time, one after another, or along a single path. Okay, for parallel, the data is sent at least one byte at a time with each bit in the byte taking a different path. So, that's um, the different types of transmission and its timing. So, in terms of data transmission, we've mentioned that there are transmission type, which consists of serial in parallel. So, for serial transmissions, these are time. So, not a mga uh, different uh, types of transmissions in serial transmissions. We have synchronous transmission, wherein blocks are, of data are transferred at regular or specified intervals. Then we also have a synchronous transmission in which data is sent when ready without being synchronized. And lastly, for isochronous transmission, the data is sent at the same time as other related data. So this is how a synchronous transmission looks like. So if this is your receiving device and this is the sending device for uh Synchronous, meaning to say, ang data is disensya by block. So, like, for example, the text, Dear Mary, today, we did quite a, uh, that is one block. Then, bit in class, the professor in, so that is another block, a speaker, or introduce a speaker who talked about na. So, that text are divided into blocks. And, isa isa ug send ang kana nga block but in a synchronous order for asynchronous the data is sent one byte at a time so meaning one letter or one character at a time okay so nga na. and for isochronous the entire transmission is sent together after requesting and being assigned the bandwidth necessary for all the data to arrive at the correct time. So, meaning to say, um, 
if that is um a movie or a video ang uban siya or the entire transmission is sent together the video portion as well as the audio portion that is isochronous okay data transmission can also be uh, transmitted either in simplex half duplex or full du duplex so for a simplex it is the data travels only in a single direction and half duplex is either direction but only one way at a time and full du duplex it is data travels in both directions at the same time so data can also be transmitted or transferred using uh, circuit switching packet switching and broadcasting for circuit switching that is a dedicated path over a network is established between a sender and receiver so ang buhaton lang karon is the data will follow that path for packet switching ang may tabo sa atong data are the messages or if we're trying to send a message the message are separated into small units called packets and they travel along the network separately meaning lahi lahi siyang agian however those packets have a common address so magkita radyo sila atong address and they are reassembled once they reach their destination for broadcasting that is they, the data is sent out to all other nodes in the network and is retrieved only by the intended recipient so usually ginagamit siya for LAN Okay, so ingani ang mahitabo sa circuit switch. Meaning to say, if this is your sender and this is the recipient, the um, the data is sent or delivered through a dedicated circuit or path. So meaning, nag send na to karun, wagi siya nga uh, computer, the this, this, and this, and to pabot siya sa recipient. Sa packet switch, kay ang ato ang messages are divided into packets. So, ang pwede nga, ang packet A diri ang part muagi, ang packet B diri, ang, ang packet C diri, ah, pero ma-assemble sila pag sa recipient. Ang sa broadcast, it is um, kwantanan, pero uh, Dere lang siya jud sa iyahang uh, recipient ma-retrieve or si recipe ang designated recipient lang jud ang maka-retrieve sa data pero ang niagi siya sa each um nodes. Ana. Okay, so networking media uh, is also used or used with wired networks include twisted pair, white shell, and fiber optic cable. So, for twisted pair cables, these are cables that were um, yan ang gitawag siya twisted pair because if you look inside that cable, there are pairs of insulated wires twisted together. Muna siya ginagamit sa mga telephone and network connections. Pag may natag kuwake shell, there is a thick center wire surrounded by insulation. So, Kung makita ninyo ang cable wire, yung anak siya, the wire. And fiber optic, it's a, it's a cable that utilizes hundreds of thin transparent clear glass or plastic fibers over which lasers transmit data as light. So, ginagamit siya for high-speed communication. So, this is what these cables look like. So, muna yung twisted pair. This is the coaxial and this is the fiber optic. So, wireless network, on the other hand, uh, they typically send messages through the air in the form of radio signals and they typically use the frequencies in the radio frequency band of the electromagnetic spectrum. So, magbuhing tag electromagnetic and wireless spectrum, okay, again, it uses the radio frequencies. Okay, so, it is... Uh, that electromagnetic spectrum is a range of common electromagnetic radiation and different parts of the spectrum have different properties so this is the what we call electromagnetic spectrum so kung baga kung ingani iyahang from 3 hertz to 300 gigahertz that is radio frequency 
300 gigahertz to 400 petahertz that is infrared and so on and so forth so that is the electromagnetic spectrum okay so wireless signals can also be sent using cellular radio transmissions in which they send and receive data via cell towers that is located within designated areas or cells then so mura siya ing ani so nine mga cells cell, uh, this is how a cellular phone works so um the sender okay example uh, nasa sa isa ka car makes a call using a cell phone so the call is transmitted as a radio waves in the tower located in the same cell as the sender so the tower transmits the call to the switching office and then when the sender travels out of the current cell meaning wala na siya dito sa katong iyang uh, current cell so mag take over ang next nga cell tower so and so on and so forth okay so uh, the mobile telephone switching office or the MTSO will route the call to the appropriate telephone network so in this example a regular telephone network so magi siya diri ang to ma receive sa recipient so mo nang makabantay mo nga kung dili siya within the range so mo nang dili ka pa connect sa call okay so um aside from that uh why uh for wireless signals it can also be sent using microwaves so microwaves are high frequency radio signals that are sent and received using microwave stations or satellites so these stations are actually earth-based stations which are designed to communicate with satellites okay so um magina siya og ka ng mga sat uh, satellite dishes so usually yung managagamit ana is ka mga television and internet services Okay, aside from microwave, okay, nagagamit po tag mga satellite transmissions. So, communication satellites which are launched into orbit to send and receive microwave signals from Earth. Okay. Or, pwede po magamit taog infrared transmissions. So, infrared transmissions send data over short distances as infrared light rays. In networking, since it's all about communications, there are communication protocols and networking standards that must be followed. So, a communications protocol determines how the devices on a network communicate, while a networking standard typically addresses both how the devices connect and the communications protocol use so the most common na protocol or communication protocol is the tcp ip or the transmission control protocol slash internet protocol so this protocol used with the oh, internet so the transmission control protocol or the tcp is the is responsible for delivery of data while internet protocol provides addresses and routing information Okay, so this is how TCP IP works. Okay, so imagine that this is a message sent by Sus PC. So, kinahanan ni niya is submit or ipasa kay Jim. So, uh, Su as um, nag-send siya og message using her laptop so the message that you send to Sue will be split into packets so example this is the packets so each packets are addressed to the same destination okay diba diba imagine pag mag email mo isara ka isara man mo diba nag naghatag og email address ng asan niya siya isend pero actually what happens is ang inyong message is divided into packets and each packet Nashay address, which is the same destination. So the packets will be sent okay, from different networks. Kagasa siya network mag Okay, since 
na may destination kung asa dito siya, dito, dito ra sila magkita. So, the packets will be reassembled once nga mabot siya sa destination niya. So, again, these packets may travel uh, pwede siya same or different routes padulong sa iyahang destination. So, yun na. Aside from TCP IP, there are also other communication protocols. We have HTTP, that is Hypertext Transfer Protocol, and HTTPS for a Secure Hypertext Transfer Protocol, that is a protocol used to display web pages. FTP, or File Transfer Protocol, that is used to transfer files over the internet. And SMTP, uh, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, and POP3, the Post Office Protocol, it's used to deliver email over the internet. Okay, so aside from protocols, we also have networking standards. So the most common networking standard for wired networks is the Ethernet 802.3. Okay, this is available in a variety of speeds. nga speed for Ethernet. So ingan eh. For 10 days T, we have 10 Mbps, fast Ethernet, 100 Mbps, and so on and so forth. Okay, so aside from in Ethernet, we also have power over Ethernet standard. That is a standard that allows electrical power to be transferred by an Ethernet network. So alternatives for wired networks increasingly being used within the home include the phone line and power line standards in the emerging universal G.HN standard. Okay, then broadband over um, power line or BPL can be used to deliver internet by the existing power pole okay, infrastructure. Okay, then we also have um, Wi-Fi. So, it is actually the most common networking standard for home and business wireless LANs. Okay, so Wi-Fi is 802.11. So, it is actually a family of wireless networking standards that uses the IEEE standard. So, this uh, Wi-Fi is designed for medium range transmissions and the speed and the distance depends on the Wi-Fi standard being used solid objects in the way, and interference. So these are the different Wi-Fi standards. We have 802.11b, 802.11a, G, N, and C. So when a network with a greater range is needed, so delete na makaya ug Wi-Fi. So Wi-Max na na siya. That is 802.16. So Wi-Fi direct and enables Wi-Fi devices to be connected directly without additional hardware. So, yun nga ni ang WiMAX. So, mas dako siya coverage kung ikumpara na to sa Wi-Fi. Aside from networking standards, we also have cellular standards. So, there are a variety of cellular standards used with mobile phones. The newest and the fastest are karon we have the 4G and 5G standards. So uh, based on this wala pa 4 uh, 5G aniha. Okay. So we have the first gen that is analog and voice only. Then we have the 2G the second generation that is digital both voice and data and faster na siya. So now we have uh 3G na on 4G networks. So, for 3G, the speeds are between 1 to 4 Mbps. On 4G is 3 to 15 Mbps. So, for short-range applications, like kung mukonek lag keyboard to computer, okay, pwede ta mo gamit Bluetooth. So, uh, other standards used to connect devices wirelessly include uh, YGG, Ultra wide band, um, wireless HD, okay, which are most often used to connect home electronic devices. Okay, na po mga wireless, uh, wireless na USB, which is a wireless version of USB. 
uh, used to connect peripheral devices to a computer and we have transfer jet which is used to transfer data between devices as they are touched together. Okay, na po tayo as gintaw nga ZigBee and Z-Wave for short range lang mga wireless standards. So, computer networks actually require a variety of hardware. So, computers usually connect to a network through either a network adapter, also called network interface card or NIC, when it is in the form of an expansion card. So, pwede po magamit og modem that is used to connect to a network via telephone lines. Though many devices that connect a computer to the internet today are commonly referred to as modems. So, the type of network adapter or modem used depends on the type of computer connection and network media being used. So, morning mga dagway sa network adapters and modems. Then we have switch. So a switch is used to connect multiple devices to a network. Okay. Routers, on the other hand, connect multiple devices together. Wireless routers typically include um, a router, switch, and wireless de and wired devices to a network and the internet. So a bridge can be used to connect two LANs or a wired device to a wireless network. Repeaters range extenders and antennas can be used to extend the range of a network and multiplexers and concentrators are most commonly used with larger networks. So, yung ani ang setup sa networking hardware na to. So, there are different types of hardware that is used to connect devices. So, I think that's it for today's topic. Hope you've learned uh, a lot or something from these discussions. And we'll see each other again sa next video. Bye!